Hi there, I'm Tony Ross with uh, Volunteer Services. I'm an engagement coordinator, um, and that entails onboarding and recruiting volunteers to help our patients and families here at Community Hospice. Um, I guess today we're gonna talk a little bit about pet therapy and what we do um, and how COVID has impacted, you know, what we're doing in the interaction with our patients and families. Um, we were doing a lot of in-person visits, daily visits with patients and families. Um, but right now it has just been, you know, we've had to think outside of the box and think, you know, what can we do to help and, you know, work with our patients and families. So we've been doing a lot of virtual visits. Um, and what that entails is, you know, we have owners and their pets and they do pre-recorded videos for us. And on those pre-recorded videos, they just say how long they've been with us, the things they like to do. And then we in turn put those on a USB drive and give those to patients and families for them to enjoy virtual visits with our pet, with our, you know, with the patients. Um, like I said, we've had to think outside the box. It's been a great impact for our patients and families. They're still enjoying, you know, seeing the pets, but right now we just can't do inpatient, I'm in person, I'm sorry, visits. I mean, I've seen the smiles on patients and families' faces when, when our animals, when the pets, therapy dogs walk into the room. And I mean, the joy that they bring our patients and family is just, it's next to none. It's just an amazing sight to see. Our volunteers are just amazing. They've, they've, they've helped us tremendously, try to think outside the box, try to still help our patients and families and do what they need to do to just be helpful, be kind and still provide you know the service that our pet therapy program offers to our patients and families. Um, like I said, we're thinking outside the box. We've, we've even done pet parades to where the patients um, that, you know, we try to bring the patients to the windows of our inpatient centers and we do a parade outside of the facility to, work to where the patients and families can still do visits with our pet therapy dogs. Because like I said, there's nothing like a pet therapy dog bringing a smile to a patient and family's face. And I just wanted to tell you, thank you so much for all of your assistance and help. So without you, none of these programs would be possible. So I wanted to tell you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and our pets, thank you too.